All right, number one thing you guys got to do is keep your work trucks clean. You just spent 15 bucks at the car wash to wash it, get all the grime off it and mud and there's a lot of pollen and stuff all over it too. Oh look, somebody was partying with some fireball hmm, at the car wash late last night, doing some shots. But yeah, try to clean it up. You want to try to prevent things like this from happening. See this rust? Now, I know you're going to be like, oh, it's a Ford. This is the only panel that is rusting. If you go to the other side, if you go to the other side and look, you see it's dented up and hit and smacked. But look, no rust, even where the paint is chipping off. Now here's the thing. This is an original panel. 2013 this truck is. That's the original panel. This panel was replaced about three years ago. And look, this panel was replaced three years ago. When this truck got T-boned, a lady had hit it and wiped everything on this side out. So everything on this side has been changed. It's not original. So the guy who, the guy who painted this panel, which is an original uh, Ford panel, uh, it didn't even last uh, three years before it started rusting really bad. So I'm not worried about it because I'm going to get a new bed for it. So we're going to get a new bed for this truck. I got the newer wheels on it and everything. See, everything's been changed on this side. This is a new hood, new headlights, new, new grill, new bumper, new uh, headlight on this side, new fender. The only thing that's original to this truck is this door, this mirror, this uh, panel, and this. Everything and the roof. Everything else has been changed. So, when that lady hit me and then I crashed it into a tree, so... It uh, got pretty beat up and it's been a work truck its whole life. You know, with the 1,300 pound Tommy gate. Uh, that thing's been pretty reliable, but it's, as you know, it's 2023 almost. And this, uh, is it 23? Yeah, it is 23. So this gate is about 10 years old of being worked every day. We picked up some scrap. It's what this truck has been mostly used for its whole life. And um, we went and picked this stuff up yesterday, but it was early in the morning and I had to bring my daughter to school, so I figured I'd wash the truck. Got, you know, Memorial Day weekend coming up. But uh, this Ford truck's been extremely reliable. 2013, like I said, with the 6.2 gas. And um, this truck uh, has had a hard life, but it's been worked its whole life. And it's been well maintained, even though I like crashing it a lot, even though two times it wasn't my fault. And we just hit 209,000 miles. I just did a fresh oil change. I got to clean my K and an air filter. K and an air filter needs to get cleaned. I noticed it was pretty dirty when I did the oil change. I just don't have a charging kit, so I got to make sure I get that. But, I mean, it's not rusty under the doors, in the doors or anything. As you see, it's not rusty under the doors. You can even look under the trim, it's just dirty. We'll leave the rust and grease on there, maybe it'll keep it from rusting. But that's the number one thing that kills these trucks is the rust. My last one, the bed side started going. One of the bed sides back here rusted and um, it caused it caused the bed side to collapse and it, it, it had 300 something thousand miles on it so it wasn't worth it for me to keep it running. I had put a lot of money into that truck but it made me a lot of money and it needed it needed a lot of work and I wanted something newer with uh, more options and something I could tow better because that truck was a 543 valve and any of four guys that know about 543 valves know that um, they're not good motors but I got 360,000 miles out of that old girl with the original motor train the original cam phasers yeah, you know, I mean, I would I would love to have Clifford right there. Said nobody ever. I would I would take my truck over that any day. But yeah, I just wanted to put this video out. It's gonna be a nice weekend. 
Truck looks good when you clean it up. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, from afar, it's not bad. But yet again, it's a work truck. It's not a fancy truck that, uh, you know, I, I, I just I use it for work. I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy a show truck like that one you just saw. Yeah, that guy's pulling a trailer, but come on. Let's be real. Who puts wheels and tires and things like that on a work truck? Come on. And it's lifted and all that stupid stuff? No. All right, so we got back to my house. I unloaded all the metal out of this white truck after uh, the car wash. But um, I wanted to show my other truck. A lot of you guys that follow me know this truck. It's a 2013 F-150. Two-wheel drive, but it's got the five-liter Coyote. I call it my little Tonka truck. I just added tires to it. We painted the wheels. We put the blacked-out headlights and taillights on it. Put LED lights in it. Got the Roush cold air intake on it. And I use this one for work, too. I mean, it also has been a pretty good truck. I haven't owned this one as long. <clears throat> I bought this truck. Um, I bought this truck when I wrecked the white one here. When I slid on ice and crashed it, I thought they were going to total it because I bent the front ear, uh, ear of the frame and parts were so expensive due to COVID and everything. So I ended up picking this truck up. I paid just under 10 grand for it at 140,000 ish miles. Now it's at 186, 185,000. So in the past two years, I've been racking the mileage up. This one gets better uh, fuel economy than obviously the big beast. Where that has a towing capacity of 14,500 pounds. This truck has a towing capacity of 9,600. So it could still tow my big trailer in the back. It could tow my camper pretty easy. I mean, that's only 6,000 pounds. Camper's a little harder though because they're just giant boxes and they just catch air. But I retrofitted this one with the, the back rack. I got the light that came off of a, uh, another truck. And uh, I had the back rack and I built sideboards for it and added mud flaps. I was going to do the bigger tow mirrors, but I decided against it. And those are those new Nitto Exo Grapples. A little aggressive for a two-wheel drive truck, but this one's got a hell of a problem with um, spinning its tires. It's so light in the back end and it's so heavy. Um... It's got so much power. Just I, I can I can go around a turn at 30 or 40 miles an hour and floor it, and the traction control has to cut in because it kick, the back end kicks out so bad. I've almost wiped out a few times. I might take this one down to the car wash and wash it too. This stupid pollen from these trees and the gypsy moth poop and everything is just it's terrible. But I got the little scrap daddy sticker, and as you see. Bed's starting to get beat up. It wasn't that beat up when I bought this truck. This was a construction truck. It wasn't that bad. They had already had the spray and liner. But as you see, I killed the tailgate on it already. I was thinking about putting a lift gate on it. But this truck has... This truck only has a 2,000 uh, pound payload capacity. I know she said 2,000 pounds. Where that one's 3,600. So that lift gate weighs 500 pounds. So you can still... With the tools in there, you can still put about 2,800 pounds in legally. Where this one, I could put about 15 to 1,600 with the sideboards and the rack and tools and just being overly fat. But we see we put the blackout taillights. I don't know what the hell this black crap was. I don't know where that was coming from. I must have drove over something. Oh, you know what they were doing? They were paving the road the other day. They were paving the road the other day, and they were putting that oily crap down, that tar and chip, and that's probably what that was. Yeah, it's all over my truck. Look. Look, it's all over. All right, so we've been running this one to the car wash. Might as well. Wash the trucks on Friday, and I'm not doing much this weekend, so might as well. Let's go run this to the car wash. All right, so we brought the Tonka truck down to get washed it was pretty dirty it didn't look it but the yellow it always looks really dirty i don't know there was a lot of black crap on the truck from um 
when they were tarring and chipping the other day. Well, that doesn't move. That's hot. You see, I got a lot of that off. Don't worry about that. That's um, that's rubber from um, uh, burnouts. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So, I like this truck. This truck is like really beefy looking, and uh, it just looks good, especially with the blacked out tail lights. Got a little scratched up. Can't have nothing nice when you're using it for work. But yeah, I think it's a good looking truck when it washes up. I mean, I had to have the sideboards on for work, but I would like to um, eventually take them off and not use this truck for work. But I think it looks good with the blacked out wheels. I was going to black out the chrome bumpers, but I think that might be too much. But got my own front license plate. Don't tread on me. But yeah, I like this truck too. This one's got power. I want to get the tune for it, but I've just been so busy lately. But yeah, I'm going to end my video. As you see, when you get a fleet of trucks, you know, it becomes uh, hard to wash them all and take care of them. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, keep your, keep your maintenance on your vehicles good and everything. And I'm going to throw a little question in, or, or, or I want you guys to comment on. Um, I want to know what your work truck is, what the mileage is, what year it is, and if you've had any major problems. All right, so we'll throw that out there to see because a lot of people don't watch to the end of the video. But um, yeah, I don't I don't care what kind of truck it is. Comment and if you've had any major problems. Uh, I haven't changed the motor or transmission in my last five trucks, and they're gone over a million miles with no major issues. And I've had some like five four three valves that were horrendous engines, but. Yeah, so leave that comment in there, and we'll see uh, who's got the most mileage. No lying. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.